How's it going, guys? It's me, Total Destruction 1497, and we're doing another Sony Vegas tutorial today. So, yeah, we're doing another Total tutorial. I got, I, I'm kind of actually happy. I was actually able to get Sony Vegas onto my desktop computer. Uh, well, it's not my desktop computer, it's my mom's, but um, our desktop computer. So um, I might be doing some of my editing on this. Uh, Sony Vegas runs a little bit better on a desktop, obviously, because uh, there's more, uh, you know, has a better processor and stuff like that. But um, so I'll be doing a lot of editing on here uh, as often as I can, um, but I still will be doing stuff on my laptop. Um, but let's get started on this total on this tutorial. Uh, in this to in this total tutorial, so any Vegas tutorial, uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a smoke effect uh, such as this. Oh man! Oh man! Uh, oh my! What the? What the? How does this even happen? All right. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, you might think that's actually kind of complicated. It's not really. It's not that complicated. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to open Sony Vegas, obviously, and then you're going to want to go to Media Generators. Now, this should be in this little box right here. Yeah, so you, it should be in this little tab right here. Uh, if you don't have this little tab, you're in trouble. Uh, Media Generators, and you're going to go down to Plasma and put that in your uh, video track. Alright, so color number one, you're going to want to be as white as white can be, so all the way over, and then make sure it's all the way to the top, too. And color two, you're going to want to be as black as black can be. All right. Now, as you can see in the preview, it's already looking like smoke. Um, everything else, you can le you s just leave the same. It doesn't have to. Um, you don't have to change anything. The only thing you're going to have to change later on is this, but that's only if you're going to want it to uh, the smoke to move. And we'll get to that later on. Uh, actually, let me import some video so that way you can see what it looks like. Uh, this is actually an old video from my other channel. Um, mega total nonsense, which you can check out uh, later, uh, or you can check it out right now if you want. I really don't care. Um, it's nothing. It's just from a video we did. Anyways, so if you scroll over the video and the smoke, you can realize that the smoke is covering up the entire video. And obviously, you want to be able to see the video underneath. So you're going to go to the very top of your smoke uh, clip, and you want it says where it says opacity or opacity. I'm not actually sure how to pronounce. It. I think it's opacity. But uh, you're going to drag it down to about 50 or 55. Um, 55 is usually good, maybe like 60 or 62. Uh, it just depends on how bright or dark your video underneath is and um, such things like that. But as you can see, it looks like smoke now. But if we play it real quick, as you can see, the smoke is not moving. And obviously, smoke moves. And that was the camera moving, not the smoke. Um, but as you know, smoke moves. So we're going to have to make it move. So you want to go back into uh, edit generated media, and then you want to go down to offset. And basically, you're going to animate this smoke. Uh, X is basically moving left to right. Uh, if you remember, like geometry or algebra or whatever it was, yeah, it's like a graph. You know, X X axis, Y axis. X is moving left and right. Y is moving up and down. So. Um, you can do one or the other, or you can do both if you want. I'm just going to do X because, well, I'll do X and Y. Uh, what you want to do, though, is you want to take it all the way to, sorry, you want to drag this little white to all the way to the end of the graph, the little uh, cursor, all the way to the end. Graph. What am I doing? I'm talking about algebra now. Um, <laughs> move it all the way to the end of the timeline, and then you just want to move X very slightly, or as much as you want, really. Uh, I'm not sure... All right, so that's with X. All right, so if we play it now, uh, it's actually lagging a bit. Let me just put down a little bit to quality. Uh, it still lags. Uh, hang on. All right, well, if you look, you can actually see that it is, you know, moving. You know, it, the smoke is moving now, so... I don't know why it lags. It's probably because of the quality of the video. Um, you can do the same thing for Y. Uh, but you're just going to take it all the way to the end, and then you can move that. Or uh, if you want to move it in the opposite direction, you can. 
Uh, I usually move it in the same direction so that way it kind of looks like it's moving in one general direction and not the smoke isn't moving like left and down or uh, really you can move however you want but that's just my opinion. Um, now what I recommend doing actually is saving this as a separate template so type in a name up here. Uh, I'm going to just name it smoke and then just hit save so that way you don't have to redo all these settings already and then it'll save down here. Um, then you can exit that out and then if you play it um, obviously it's lagging but you can see it is moving and that is how you do smoke uh, like I said not too complicated it's actually a lot simpler than you might think um, and now I will play the video this video so that way you can see what it looks like uh, you know without it lagging Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, you can feel free to leave those in the comments below. Any requests on tutorials, leave those in the comments below, or requests on a video in general. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, remember to stay in the path of destruction.